That definitely still happens, but hopefully a bit less now. Hey there YouTube, I'm making this video to discuss some of the big picture changes of the new blueprint system, and how it's impacting the game for different types of players, since we all play Rust differently. I do like the new system so far, but this video is more to provide some context and perspective on the changes, because I think it might be helpful for the dialogue about how to continue and improve the system. First off, I want to make some observations about three major differences between new blueprints and old blueprints that I wasn't expecting. First, there are very few BPs that are unlocked now by default. You can make a bow and some basic wood gear and a stone base with some metal doors, but that's basically it from the beginning now. As you see me walking through the base here, I've left it unfinished because I didn't realize I wouldn't have prison cell gates, floor grates, and even metal window bars. Secondly, the new system really encourages you to focus on what BPs you actually want. You have to actually find the item and then use a massive amount of scrap for even simple items to research them, like 250 scraps for metal window bars, for example. In the old blueprint system, you would just find common blueprints and barrels while trying to find the more important BPs, so that by the time you got the high-end BPs you actually no. wanted, you already had most common BPs anyway. That's gone now. Each blueprint that you will get now will have to represent some type of significant investment. And finally, my last observation is that the new BP system is going to be slow, slow, slow for most players. My clickbait title is a not a joke joke. I really have been working for probably more than 9 hours just to get the revolver and pistol ammo BPs. And to be sure, I've been doing a lot of primitive PvP, which has been a blast, but the server I've been playing so long has been very competitive for barrels during peak hours. Now, I said the new BP system is going to be slow for most players, but it is still going to be possible for groups skilled in PvP to have shortcuts. I'm going to include a link in the description to a site that will let you know exactly what items you can find in what types of crates and barrels. If you check that out, you'll notice that the highest end gear, like AKs, really only spawns at elite crates at the launch site. If a group can lock that down and get AKs and supply signals and airdrops, they can still get high end gear in an evening. For the rest of us, that is probably not going to happen as quickly on high populated servers as it used to be possible under the old system. Whether there should be an obvious shortcut like this is open to debate but it's certainly not easier to get high-end gear now than it was under components, even for the most skilled PvP groups. The subtitle of this video is Winners and Losers. I've seen a lot of comments, both extremely positive and extremely negative about the new BP changes. I want to try to provide some big picture analysis of what types of players benefit from the changes and which types of players lose out. There's always going to be a trade-off because everyone plays differently. I think the big winners for the update are the hardcore players who regularly sink 10, 20 hours or more into a wipe. Solo or team players, those who play a lot are winners here. Additionally, I think casual players who never really want more than just a bow in their hand and the sands meet at their feet are also winners. Since the new system is so slow, unless you're a member of one of those pro PvP or teams, it's mostly going to be the players who play a lot who have decent gear. The wipe I played before this under the old component system, I built a solo base and probably sank about 10 hours into playing and getting it set up, and then a group of four moved in next door, and within a few hours they had AKs from hitting barrels and recycling components. That's not going to happen so much anymore. A hardcore solo player might now be able to hold their own against casual teamers. A hardcore group will probably do even better in general. It may seem obvious to say that players who play more have an advantage, that's always been true, but that is more true now just as it was less true under components. The balance is now very different, and so ask yourself if this new balance is good or bad for the game. Now on the other hand, if you are a casual player and all you really want to do is hop on for a couple hours and make some bow plays. The game is also likely to be easier for you now as well. Since the level of gear in general is likely to be lower for longer into wipes, the playing field will be a bit more level for primitive weapons. 
who are the losers? I think the losers in the new BP system have to be casual players who want more than primitive gear and players who just played a PvP with high-end gear. Casual players are simply not going to put the hours in to really go toe-to-toe -to -toe with hardcore players. To an extent that disadvantage was always there, but now it's tenfold. It used to be that for players who just like high-end PvP, with how easy it was to get gear by recycling components with the old system, a small group really could log on to a populated server and with some skill and luck have an evening of AK plays. Even with the launch site still possibly being overpowered, that's not nearly possible to the same extent now. To make AKs, 556, meds, and metal body armor, you'll need a base with a research table and three levels of workbenches and all of those BPs, which will cost probably a few thousand scrap. Since each barrel only gives one scrap, that's a lot. You can get a lot of scrap from recycling components still, but not hundreds and thousands, not easily. My final argument is that what type of player you are may have a lot to do with whether you like the changes or not. The changes are not good for every playstyle, and players who like playing in a way that is harder now may not be happy. I hope this has been a useful analysis for looking at the new BP system, and for perhaps understanding why some players like it and some don't. I hope this can also be a useful contribution to the conversation around how to continue to make Rust better. Thinking about how game changes impact every type of player can be helpful for deciding exactly what type of changes are best for the game and best for the community. I did obviously leave out the fun factor. The new system could make it easier for you to use your playstyle, but that doesn't matter much if you don't find it fun, and vice versa. I personally like the changes, although I've liked changes in general with Rust. I think it keeps it interesting. I'm even planning on playing the Wednesday before the wipe on the Rustified Small server, just to get BPs. Something I used to do on old BPs, but that I never did with components. I think that's a good sign for server longevity, but this certainly is not the ticket to wipe this Rust. Monthly BP wiping probably still needs to happen because wipes are fun and exciting. I do wonder at the wisdom of still having the launch site be a ticket to the fast lane to high end gear, since that does seem so counter to the way the system works now, but I'm not too bothered. I also wonder at the wisdom of having so few default blueprints. There are a lot of decoration BPs, like signs, that might not be used much at all now. I think having most of the building accessories, like window bars, locked right now is also a pain. But I do need them, and I will bother unlocking those, so that might be fair. Thanks for sticking around, guys. As promised, bows to revolver, 9 hours, not clickbait.